You want your boat to turn head? She does. You want your boat to be slick, easy to maintain, easy to handle, with enough space to invite your friend and your loved one. And uh, look at me, I am on a swimming platform that just drop uh, using a line. Double steering, a, a very wide open space, walking straight to the large cockpit with a cockpit table and a very, very long bench. You have as a, a old Dufour, a German main sheet that you can handle both sides. All the uh, your line come back to the cockpit, so you don't need to move anywhere to uh, operate this vessel. What I like also about this one is she's true to her philosophy of performance selling. She has a full button mainsail. She comes with a self-tacking jib, uh, overlap overlapping jib, and. Uh, Furling cut zero that you can hoist from a, a build built in a bar sprint. So come with me and let's walk uh, inside the cockpit. You have a very wide and large storage. By the way, this is a two cabin version uh, with a large storage because you take advantage to have only. Uh, two cabin inside and instead of the third cabin you have a very wide uh, storage space where you can store everything you need diving gear uh, clean gear safety gear etc electronic it's there with a remoring display autopilot Volvo Penta engine control multi-display, wing, speed and depth. You have also AIS uh, system and uh, a radar. A radar, I believe. The radar is a 48 nautical range. Uh, a 48 mile range. Moving forward, as you, you move forward, before moving forward, I would like you to check uh, right there. There is a Bimini, a Dodger, and a fly between the two you can remove or you can install when you are at the anchor. Here you have a, a full button main cell, a traveler. Which is something that the competition has, has a tendency to forget well, because they put an arch and they keep having a traveler as a sailor. I really enjoy to have a traveler, it gives me one or more option to trim my, my sail. Um, you can see down there all the line going down all the halyard, all the, all the, the trim goes back on the back of uh, the, next to the company in a way so you can trim your vessel from the cockpit uh, as you move forward you see this little stainless steel exhaust it is from a, a, a diesel heating system that was installed on this vessel, very useful at night when you are in California and you want to go to Cat Catalina in, in the winter. As just straight forward the uh, exhaust, you have a, ta a track for the self-tacking system, uh, and just behind the, the the track, you have a wide window that provides a lot. A nice uh, natural light inside the vessel, like you will 
you will see later. Uh, again, as I mentioned, a very sleek deck, which is very safe when you are at sea. You can walk around if you need it, and uh, uh, you feel very comfortable and safe. Moving forward, you have uh, the anchor locker, and you have a building basprit from which you can always do the code zero. Notice also the flat drum for the furling jeep. It's not a, a very wide drum with uh, that you have to uh, furl and unfurl with a lot of rope. It's just, just a, a very neat, very sleek drum. Uh, as we move up, you see two uh, two level of spreader. A very uh, this 382 has uh, the option of a taller mast, with give her a very uh, a great performance in a in a light wind. In fact, most of the time in Southern California, when you sell this vessel, you you easily sell as the wind speed. If you have a six seven knot of wind. You will always be able with the code zero to sell at six, five to seven knots uh, of boat speed, which is quite amazing. One of the specificity of this vessel, but also for uh, common to all the four, is uh, the boom goose neck is very low, which allow you it's at the waist level which allow you, when you need it, to really easily, you don't have to cr climb the mast to access your main cell, which for me is also very, very important. And as I mentioned earlier, you have a full button main, which is very efficient in this vessel, and a, and a taller rig that was an option when uh, the, the owner ordered this is a vessel. As I move forward, I can show you the, the anchor locker. Of course, uh, is an electric windlass, low fronts, uh, electrical windlass, and uh, as you can see, the anchor is at, uh, at uh, set up at a, at a bar bridge which is very easy uh, make things your life easier to, to anchor when you need it and uh, you can anchor from the your steering station and you have a chain counter I hope uh, you have enjoyed this quick view of uh, the exterior of this vessel before before we are going down to the interior I would like to uh, show you a couple of things uh, the swimming platform for example is very easy to lift using a, a line and to secure so it's not electric it's not hydraulic it's just manual why because it's very light and very easy to doing it uh, Something else I didn't even forgot to mention is you have uh, here uh, adjustable backstay, which is very good for performing vessel. And you can uh, can imagine here that you again you look at the double wheel sitting here, easy to sell, view everywhere, easy to dock access to your primary winches, access to your electronic, access to your engine control and a, a fantastic view, uh, a fantastic deep cockpit and large cockpit for your loved one to enjoy the sunset or, uh, or to relax at anchor when you are in Catalina. So let's move inside. 
big large companion way and just notice the two secondary winches they can run all your line yacht as much as I love the exterior the inside is a selling point of this yacht let me show you uh, the galley or the kitchen for the non-sailor so you have a, a two burner and a stove a top loaded mm -hmm. freezer here a front load fridge and a double sink here moving uh, uh, I, I'm gonna show you later uh, a very attractive head with a very large shower don't forget this boat is a 38 feet only she has so much for, for uh, to offer as a space for 48 which is quite amazing this is why I really want to show you the head and the uh, separate shower and a very large on this side a very large on the starboard side a very large uh, guest cabin as we move forward you can see let me show you uh, the front of this vessel so I've seen uh, you have a double door that open on, on, a, on a two a V bird double V bird with a storage below drawer you can see on the port side forward you have a very unique customized Sigmarine diesel heater very useful uh, to spend on a winter the weekend in Catalina around this table you can easily eat six or eight people can easily sit on this side you have a very practical navigation table you notice all the storage around all this salon a lot of storage on this vessel and what is very attractive also a lot of natural light this yacht is absolutely uh, uh, very attractive with all this light now I want to show you and talk to you about this very large head and separate shower uh, you will notice at uh, the end of the shower there is a large door to access the very large storage that you can access through the cockpit also very practical when you want uh, to, to do a long trip and store very heavy item and on the, on the uh, left side of the panel you have a, a trap that allow you will allow you to access the engine when you want to change your oil on uh, check the oil level on it, on it. you have a, a door that enclosed you can have a shower and uh, the head and a sink and a, a storage below the sink this is a unique, very, very large shower for a 38 feet boat. Now let me tell you about the main cabin. It's a very wide double berth, uh, deep, comfy, equipped with, uh, uh, on the starboard side, a hanging locker and some shelving. For your clothes and a big shelf for your library uh, on the top you have a hatch you can open so for ventilation and and on, on the top you have another window to have natural lights that come directly to uh, this cabin this is by the way the main cabin on this vessel The last feature on this vessel, and you already have been on this great V-Bird, 
and you know what is amazing on this vessel is this V-bird you won't feel claustrophobic for two reasons first it's a very wide one two you you can open the two doors and on, on, on your port side you have this very interesting feature a diesel heater and on both sides you have a hanging locker drawer and under the bed you have two sliding drawer to store your, your equipment and both sides of the bed you have shelving for books for your electronic for whatever you want so thank you for being with me for this tour i hope you have enjoyed I want to remind you uh, the main feature of this vessel, a very large head and separate shower, an amazing cockpit, a single, uh, a single end of boat that you can enjoy with yourself or with your loved one, a very flush desk, you can deck, sorry, flush deck, you can lie a mattress and sun bath and two amazing cabin when you can sleep both the owner suite the v bird and a very wide and welcoming salon where you can have a dinner for six people i am pretty sure you have plenty of questions so hope you can uh, uh, text me or call me and if you want to email with your question you can email me at jm at denisonyachting.com jm Juliet Mike at denisonyachting.com. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.